Hi, Laura Wansick here. Thanks for watching. This is a Project Life process video. And for this week, I used the Lost and Found kit, the Lost and Found story kit from Allie Edwards. I think that's about maybe 95% of this uh, spread. That piece of paper for the title card and a couple chipboard pieces are from past story kits, but everything else is from the new Lost and Found kit. And for this week, I told seven stories, so I have seven horizontal photos, and for each of those stories, um, it's about something being found or something being lost. Actually, six stories of something being found and one story of things being lost. So I did all my journaling. Um, I always do that at work when i am just got some downtime. I just do all my journaling because it's easier to do and then I don't waste time, you know, in my craft room when I actually can be around the products. And... Um, then printed them out on three by four cards, and I decided that I was going to stamp found or lost, um, whichever the story is, on top of each of them. So I started out there by trying to figure out which color was going to be best. Um, I didn't know if maybe that orange, it didn't quite match that first card, so that's why I went with the gray. And um, so just stamping that on top of all of them, and that element of repetition has really worked well for me in terms of liking my... Um, my spreads, and I really, really am liking using collections for my Project Life spreads. Whether it's a story kit or, uh, I mean, usually for me it's a story kit, but other times, you know, other people might use other types of collections. But I think using a collection that has a defined color palette can be a way to make your spreads um, look really sharp, especially if, as, as long as um, the colors, the color palette matches your photos at least a little bit, then it all kind of ties together. And the color palette for Lost and Found uh, matched this week pretty well. So in terms of embellishments on the photos, I'm thinking in terms of triangles of repetition. So if you look at the clear pieces, the Lost and the Found, that's in a diagonal. There's not three of those, but they're kind of um, spaced visually nicely from each other. And then I have these circles that I'm working on right now that are also in a little bit of a triangle. So on the title card and then these two little chipboards. And then I've got those um, rectangular chipboard pieces are also in a triangle. So I'm always thinking about that. That's something I learned from Ellie Edwards and um, really like the way that it works is doing these, these triangles of repetition um, of elements. And um, for this title card, I'm using one of those the little circle is from the Lost and Found Story Kit as well. And then just putting the date on there. And then I stamped a sentiment to pull some of that. Um, you'll see that I grab my ink. Uh, I have a little swatch book that has all of my ink colors. And I knew that I wanted to match that kind of orangish color. Because of the heart chipboard on the picture of Ellie hugging her aunt, plus the... Um, orange card plus the little thing I just stamped is also a little triangle of that color. So, you know, I think that, that whole idea of triangles really is um, helpful and makes things very visually balanced. So, I'm sorry that's blurry. Forgot to refocus it when I brought the card up. So the next thing I do is there's a little plus sign in the stamp set. Um, that's supposed to be used for all of the little sentiments that go together. So like lost and found or hide and seek or here and there. And I had the idea to take the little plus sign and stamp it on any of the words lost or found throughout my journaling. And that was kind of a cute idea, but then um, it actually didn't look very cute. So then um, I end up just stamping it kind of haphazardly all over the journaling just to make it look more like a pattern. Um, I think that if I'd had the words... Um, if there were more words lost and found throughout the journaling, it would have looked okay. But there it just kind of looks like I messed up some, some stamping. So, uh, I end up just kind of, again, doing triangles of the plus signs on the cards to just kind of make it a pattern throughout the spread. And, um, I don't know if I would go back, if I would do that again. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of whatever. It's good enough. I don't know that it's my favorite thing I've ever done, but... Overall, I really like the spread, and I like the balance of the colors, and um, certainly thankful for the, the stories that I told. Thanks for watching.